flying robots that can on their own target humans and attack them? What was science fiction before now is reality, a scary reality that we have to talk about. Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Pelo from The Dairy Monkey and today we talk about a UN report, a United Nations report that reported how apparently in the spring of 2020 in Libya there were some drone strikes against some Libyan National Army forces. Anyone think that this is just unfortunately part of, you know, everyday news from certain unfortunate areas of the planet? But these times, these drone strikes were different because you have to see these drones were autonomous machines. That means there was no human involved in these sort of attacks. Now, let me explain. If you think about other types of drones, for example, the Predator drone that was used by the US Army and has now been replaced. Now, this Predator drone is an unmanned drone. That means there is no human on board, but it's still piloted by a human person. There is still a, a human soldier that is piloting this drone, that is assessing the situation via a set of cameras, and then is taking a decision whether to attack or not. But for these drones, no human was piloting them. They were doing all of these things on their own. Now this type of machine called an autonomous weapon system or a lethal autonomous weapon system or a killer robot, they have different names, but the thing is still the same. And this kind of machine has been discussed for years, but this is apparently the first time they've been used on an actual real battlefield. So how does this machine look like and how does it work? Specifically, this drone is called Cargo 2 and it comes from the Turkish company STM. At first glance, this kind of drone looks like an ordinary quadcopter, one of the commercial quadcopters that you, might, that you may also yourself buy with a set of cameras, but instead of having just cameras, these machines have also munitions, explosives, they bring death on the battlefield. This kind of drone is defined as a loitering munition, which is a fancy way of describing basically a kamikaze drone. So this kind of drone has some explosives strapped on it, it flies around waiting for a target to strike against, and then it flies towards the target and it explodes. And the munitions that it can mount are pretty different, depends also on the kind of target. For example, if a target are people, it can mount fragmentation munition, but it can also mount some high penetration munitions, for example, to target bunkers or armored targets. So in case you're wondering if you can hide from one of these things in a bunker, unfortunately, it knows how to behave in these kind of situations. This drone can also see at night, for example, via a set of infrared cameras or via LiDAR, and has image processing and face recognition capabilities, so it can actually distinguish between a human target from a non-human target. Now, if you think you can escape from one of these things, keep in mind that they can fly at about 70 km per hour, which is not that slow, and they can also operate in absence of GPS and radio, so in different operational scenarios without communication with the actual control center. Now, here's very interesting bits. A few years ago, in 2017, there was this famous video called Slaughterbots. Maybe you have seen it, maybe you remember it. It was pretty famous at the time, it became basically like a hit sensation. It was a dramatized video, a science fiction video, basically showing some similar machines, some drones that could be deployed and could target humans on their own without being piloted by a human controller. And this video was released by the Future of Life Institute, which is an institute that is providing information of different types of threats, in this case about the threat of lethal autonomous weapons. And at the time, this video was dismissed by some and criticized as being just science fiction, including the Russian ambassador to the United Nations who said, we don't have to worry about lethal autonomous weapons because we're too distant to necessitate worrying about. So in 2021, four years later, now I guess it's time to be worried about. Now, after all of this information, you may be asking yourself, how do we stop these things? From a practical perspective, it's not actually that easy to stop these things, because it's not just about the individual drone. In fact, these drones can cooperate, can form swarms and cooperate together to attack multiple targets or, for example, the same target and overload conventional air defense systems. Apparently, countries are already working on some countermeasures to counter this type of drone attacks, for example, laser weapons that can target the drone and they can basically destroy it. So between lasers, killer drones and even robot dogs, the future battlefield is definitely going to look cyberpunk, just not in a good way. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.